Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning, viewers. We continue to share the word of God this morning on our morning encounter. My name is Reverend Elpas Bwire. I am blessed of God. It's, it's a privilege to share with you what God has put in my heart. And I believe that God will encourage you. This morning, I want to share with you about walking with God, walking with God, being in tandem with God. The Bible says the two cannot walk together unless they agree. And so we can't claim to be of God. We can't claim to be walking with God when we are walking alone. You cannot claim to be with God when we have a mismatch of our attitude, when we have a mismatch of whatever we do, when we have a mismatch of things that we do. In the book of Hebrews, Habakkuk chapter 2, uh, verse 1, it talks about this prophet called Habakkuk. And allow me to turn uh, there just to read a verse where um, many of you have read. I know we shared this in the previous week. Habakkuk goes in a, in a debate with God and he's trying to ask God several things. He asks God to be able to walk with him. Just see what he says in chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand at, you, at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. I will look to see what... Uh, I will see, look to see what he will say to me and what answer I am to give to this complaint. You know, we looked at this in a previous episode, but today I want to say walking with God. When we are doing the assignment of God, even he as a pastor, do I align my will to his will? Jesus, when he was sent by God to go and do the assignment, you know, he prayed many times to align himself with God. He prayed that God would walk with him to be able to accomplish that what he's doing. And I see the same with Habakkuk. And I want to encourage you that even you, when you are at your workplace, do you work as if you're working for yourself? Do you work as if it's just a JD that people have given you? Or do you work because you are working and walking with God? You must align yourself with God. Your attitudes through prayer, through fasting, in times reading the word of God and just be able to get, am I doing the work of God? On many occasion and many questions, as a youth pastor in my capacity, because I have many youth that come to me, many people struggle to do what God has asked them to do even in colleges. Finding a man and a woman of God in the youthful years, admitted to Moy University or Eldoret University or even University of Eldoret, dropping off an assignment that many of us might have celebrated when they call their KCC marks and, and they find themselves, they want to quit. I want to believe that many people quit because they are not working with God. Because even difficult tasks, they need God to walk with you to accomplish. And there is nothing that is easy, particularly if it's from God. Even being a pastor is not easy. For many of us who are elders, it's not easy. For many of you who are serving in the marketplace, you tell me that it's not a walk in the park. Every day you woke up with the new challenges that needs you to devise new ways of survival, new ways of communication. You must learn to walk with God. When things look difficult, you look around and you see injustice, you look around, you see corruption, you see many people are going to elections and uh, they want to be senators, they want to be governors, they want to be MPAs, MPs, even the MCs, MCS. I'm telling you, there is not a walk in the park, it's a cause for sacrifice. But now, the greatest of the sacrifice is to be able to walk with God. Because there are things God expects you not to do and there are things God expects you to walk with Him. And so in this instant then, you must align yourself with him. Uh, John chapter 15 talks about that the, the branch and the, the vine and the branches must be able to be together. Or as you prune, you must align, learn to remove some few things in your life. Some walk, you learn to remove. Some of you this morning, as you listen to me, I'm challenging you, there are friends you must drop off to align with God. Because God to walk with you, you must walk with him. And if there are people that are deterring you to effectively work with him, then you must evaluate your, uh, your work environment. You must evaluate your, your priorities. You must evaluate everything that you are doing. God is asking us that we work with him as we work for him and with him. His word is not void. It is, it is, it is full of him in us and with us because 
I've shared before that when we become uh, children of God as Christians, God causes his children. We are no longer on ourselves. We belong to him. And so every decision that we do must be measured against his word, must be measured against his promises, must be measured against his covenant and everything that is from God. And so this morning as you go to work, you may want to begin with God in prayer. Remember you are asked to walk with God. Every decision you make, align your will to God. Allow him to show you a whisper of whatever that you want to do. Even that decision you want to make to, 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 for that organization, for your life, for your marriage, may God be in it. May God be involved. I challenge you this morning, learn to walk with God. A daily walk with God. Like you've done, many of you have made this, this channel to be a source of inspiration. You wake up in the morning to see God. Many of us have daily devotion personally. Some of us have audio Bibles. Some of us have ways that we connect with God. Please, I encourage you. Learn and continue to be encouraged to walk and work with God. Without Him, there is no nothing you can do. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We bless your name for who you are and the things you continue to do for us, O oh God. This morning, there are people that are going to work and they're wondering what they need to do. They are on the verge of giving. They are wondering which answer you will need to give them. I pray that, Lord, you will encourage them to look unto you, to love you, to serve you, and to seek your mind, to seek your will. We worship you this morning. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That was The Morning Encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.